I want to shout out our amazing. I'll try and make this a song, actually. That's, that's a good idea. Trying to do in, unique shout outs. Good to a song. Oh my god, Whiskey Sid, you're so numb. Oh, 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 you're so numb. Oh, 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 o
few years ago now where you hunted different supernatural beings, but it, again, it didn't, I think it was called Witch Hunter, I want to say. But again, it didn't have the variety that this kind of things needs. This game only costs like a few bucks, by the way. It's probably very appropriately priced for what it is, um, unless I kill her inside a minute. Um, but, you know, um, the problem a lot of these games have is just lack of content. Because, you know, they have to program the AI, you have to like, you know... Ultimately, a game like this, if it's going to be a big project, needs multiple maps, multiple cryptos. You could even eventually do different DLCs, different monsters, you know, from the base, like, maybe ten that you have in the game. You know, it's... It, it's... it's... you need multiplayer, too. Um, I'm not saying this game in particular, I'm keeping this gun, by the way, needs multiplayer, but just, you know, if you want to make a big, like, title of these. I think it would be a huge success, by the way. The bash is coming. I don't have much time. My brother's already died, and now it will be my turn. Whoever's reading this letter, don't be fooled by her white dress and pale skin. Don't approach her. If you hear a woman crying in the middle of the forest, don't approach it. Run away. There's a game called A Day Out um, that is close to what I'm describing, but it's in early access. Uh, there's another one called like Haunted, Inve Haunted Something Investigation or something that's a bit like it too. But they're both still quite lacking in content, unfortunately. Like, they're not bad. Like, I, I enjoy playing both of them, but they're not, like, you know, super enjoyable. I keep hearing, like, noises. I don't know if I'm meant to be heading in the direction of the noise, or it's just like a bird. All right, that sounds like a banshee. Maybe not. I appreciate the little flavor notes, by the way, and something like this too. Once I've been running around for three hours, I probably won't, but still. It's fire up ahead, I see it. Oh, hold it. Hold it! The night vision. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think I see better like this. Yeah, whatever's making that noise is close. God, I got hit by a fucking... I think they're like suiciders. I don't know if you heal over time in this. Or we need to find med kits. I don't even really need to like, know how, like, how you gauge your health. I thought that was her. It's the fucking water. and see if I could. And I might still be able to, but I definitely missed there. So, uh, you know, that's good. Hellbug. What the fuck is a hellbug? I'm probably dead here, right? Hello? We might be dead here, guys. Reload. Am I getting close to the Banshee? I 
I wonder if the game does have heals. At the moment, I see no indication that it does. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm so fucking dead, guys. Where the fuck is this Banshee? I haven't even seen her yet. So don't get distracted by the other creatures. It's hard to when they scream that much. They're very persistent, these things. Please give me a cabin with health. This is where I've already found out where I started the game. Because I'm not doing well here. I think I've been here, right? No, I haven't. Give me some help, come on. That's the mum. I'm probably gonna die soon, so I'm gonna just have a rush and see if I can find her. I hear her! I feel like the audio's messed up. By the way. Because it sounds like they're coming from a different direction to what they are. Jesus Christ, she's fast! She didn't even pick a fight, she just booked it! What a bitch! She doesn't have a shitload of health. But, problem is I don't now either. So I think you follow the screams to find her. Which would make sense. Follow the screams. Get a shot on her. Yeah, those screams, that's her. Even if I die this time, I get the premise. I get how it works. Wish there was heals in this game. I mean, I guess there might be. Um... Oh, that's a bird. Jesus Christ, I thought it was like a Dracula bouncing down the mountainside. What the fuck? I hear her crying again. Might be the end of me here, because it's going to be close range, I think. Whatever, it's really fucking dark here.
I mean, I'm doing damage. I feel like this is a bit of a futile effort here on my part, though, considering my health. Very good shot of her face there, though. Beautif beautiful lady. And while we have stamina in this game, which I usually don't like, um, we are climbing up a fucking mountain right now, so I, I, I feel it's... And I guess, like, to an aspect of this is meant to be, like, a simulation. Stop crying. If she hits me, I'm probably dead. Because I feel like... One hit from death, you know? Well, she's halfway there. So am I, though. Knew that was happening. I knew it. They're so fucking hard to shoot with their wobbly fucking paths. Alright, okay. We know what to do now. We know what to do. No, oh, I got this shit. I don't want this fucking gun. I want the other gun. God damn it. Why do I always get bollocks guns? There's no range to this at all. Which is a problem. But if I find the other one, hopefully I will. Well, we know where she is. I'm just gonna go straight on her case this time. The problem with the suicide is, is they path really weird, and they're really fast. I wonder what's on top of the hill, if anything. Because we're going for it right now. I can't run, by the way, on this for some reason. There we go. Now I can. Oh, there's a house up here. I want a house with a rocket launcher, personally, but... Let's have a look, shall we? Jesus. Ever since the rumor spread across the island that woman's spirit's killing people at night, the fire has not gone out and the nights are getting longer and longer. Lovely. Oh, a shotgun? Yeah, I don't think that's probably worth it, I'm gonna be honest with you. What did I get? A wi- Oh, I, I got a heal, I think! I think that's a heal, it's like a syringe. To think I was only a few feet away. Alright, where the fuck is she? I don't hear her at all at the moment, which is worrying. Banshee! God damn it. There's multiple hills with multiple buildings by the looks of things. She's down here. I'm coming, I promise. I just... I want to shoot you really bad, but... Finding you has not been easy thus far. What if that's something else that I found? Can I select it? Hang on. Heal is four. Okay, so I think I do have a heal. A lot more of these fuckers, by the way. This map is huge. Like, massive. I think I've been here before, but... Uh, 
This is where I started the fucking game, isn't it? I got another heal. Why, where the fuck were these last time? The bitch would be dead by now. I need ammo. I hear her. I see her. Need ammo really bad. I got a pistol with seven bullets, so I guess that counts. There's a house over here, let's go and check it out. Got some damage on her and I've got two heals. And the little friend didn't get me. Oh a jammy house. Ooh. Ooh. That was bullshit. Absolute bullshit that was. Keep forgetting I've got heals though, so it doesn't matter as much. Yesterday afternoon my husband had a really bad fight with the neighbours. I hope they're okay. I promised our daughter we would go out and play in the sun with them tomorrow. She's close, by the way. Like, really close. I hear her, but I don't see her. What a bitch. Wow, that, that sucked. That really sucked. Okay, I can't even tackle her anymore until I get more bullets. I've got three shots. And the screamers are gonna fuck me up. Big time. Like, that almost killed me, that one hit from her. I didn't have enough ammo to see her off because of the fucking screamer. Jesus. Alright. This might not be the run still. This might not be the run, but... I'm dead. Fuck! I need ammo! I can't tackle her! Without ammo. All right, guys. I'll be back. What I'm gonna do is look around the island, stock up on ammo before I even go near her, like I did last time, and try and find heals beforehand as well. And only deal. Oh, thank fuck. We got a good gun. Uh, and only deal with the um, the screamers and stuff. I think that's the plan. Stock up a lot. then go and deal with her because she's too strong. She's also really close. Jesus. Alright, anyway, I'll be back, guys, once I've stocked up a bit and I'm ready to try and hunt her. Okay. I hear her nearby, so I should probably take a shot at her. There's a house there too, so that's even better. Let's say she's in here then. This gun sucks. Okay. Yeah, I took my 
bad damage there, because she does... She hits so fucking hard. I mean, it makes sense, she's like the fucking... Boss. If I find another gun, I, I, I wish I could find that gun that I've had originally. Because it's so much better than everything else. Like, ridiculously much, so much better. Like, the pistol's kind of crap. And I keep finding pistol ammo this time and nothing else. This gun... A gun without a scope is kind of just useless. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, you need that fucking hunting rifle. It's the only gun that you can... Because you can deal with it before she even gets near you. But hey, at least I did some damage to her. Still not might be the- still, this might not be the run though, guys. Especially as I'm just finding pistol ammo. And nothing else. <gasps> Everywhere. 32 fucking pistol ammo. <sighs> Healing syringe. That is worth it. Might be more than one. You can always hear their little fucking peats going. No gun in here, but at least, hey. That could be a lot worse. I'll take it. Nice looking cozy cabin over there to stock up at items, hopefully. They always come from behind, I've learned. So you just turn. I guess they spawn in, I think, and run at you. Seems to be like their AI behavior. Which is a little annoying, but it's not the end of the world. We've been here already, right? Oh, maybe not on this run, actually. More ammo for the gun I don't like. I think you just get ammo for the gun that you've got, I'm gonna be honest with you. Close. Fuck it, I may as well just try. Yeah, I'm coming. Sounds like she's having a temper tantrum. She's like, Why? Why aren't you here? Why aren't you killing me? So rude. So fucking rude. Do you know that I'm a banshee? I'm the titular character of this game. And, um,. You should respect me, okay? Yeah, hero. Keeping my pistol out first, though. Because there's a chance a little one of her buddies is gonna come for me first. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy there's another cabin. Is she in the cabin? A crossbow. Ammo for the crap gun. I don't you can I I've got too much ammo for the gun I don't like. Sucks! Donkey dick! This gun is like the worst gun in video game history. Like, it's fucking awful. I am changing it for the crossbow. Oh great, one bullet. Brilliant. We're not making this one, guys. This is- this is a bad run again. Attempt number four. I feel that's gonna be the one. Alright, I'm- I'm- I, that's it. That's- that's definitely the one. There's a cabin down here. Maybe I'll get lucky with the heal. More likely to get ambushed though on the way by a screamer. Watch this be a cabin I've been to already. No, in my luck it'll just be empty. She 
does crazy damage, though. It's insane. Oh, yeah, I've been here already. This is your fault, corpse. Talk about unlucky. There must be like 20 fucking cabins on this island, and I just went to one that I'd been in a million fucking times. You need that scope. You need it. It's so, it makes, it trivializes everything. But I need it with heals too. I wonder if you get the scope, you don't get any heals. I'm trying to put distance between me and her at the moment, because I don't want to run into her accidentally. She'll make enough noise later on for me to find her if I do survive. Part of me just wants to restart, I'm going to be honest with you. <sighs> yeah, yeah. You'll get yours eventually, even if it takes me an hour and a half. Okay. Anyway, guys. I think I'm going to restart this run, because... Fuck me, that bolt, that bolt rifle is garbo. Absolutely useless. Useless garbo. I'll check out this one cabin. This could be my redeemer. Okay. You ready? I bet I've already been here too. I'm gonna get killed on the way. I'm gonna get killed on the way. It's gonna be a screamer from behind. I can sense it. I can, I can, I can sense it. Any second now. I've been here too, haven't I? There would be enemies here if I hadn't been here. Jesus, she's, I think I feel like she's following me. Yeah, I've been here too. We're gonna retry. I need to find the good gun. Again, I'll be back in a while, guys. Let me a minute to, like, look around. I'm gonna just do this. That's- this is the plan. This is the plan. Alright, the golden plan. Stop it. Stop it, game! Stop it. HELL YEAH! Alright, this is it. This is the one. Syringe. No. Pistol bullets. Brilliant. What I didn't want. Okay. That said. I might be good. I've got a feeling this might not be RNG, you know. I've got a feeling that maybe you just spawn in certain parts of the island. Well, a lot of pistol ammo, great. <laughs> I do think that's the case, actually, that you just spawn in certain parts of the island. Shit. Well, we all know this is the area that didn't have any fucking heals. Alright, I'm already equipped. If this is the same, there should be a heal on top of this mountain, right? At least you can fucking hear them coming a mile away. <gasps> She's up here. As far as I can tell, by the way, there's only the exploders, suiciders, and the bugs. I guess there could be something else that I just haven't seen yet, but it seems unlikely. If this has a syringe, it means that the layouts don't change. It's just where you spawn that changes. It did not have a syringe, but it did have bullets for this. So the items are RNG. 
Not the guns, though. Which I guess is okay. Just means it. Right here. <laughs> Did I just take full damage? I did. Seven problems. So am I. Still the best gun by Miles. Before I pursue her, I'm gonna go check out this cabin. It's like night and day different to all the other guns. Like, why would you use a shotgun, by the way? Like, she kills you in like two hits at close range. Fuck. I hate that, by the way. It keeps you on your toes, for sure. I, I hate it because it's like, not because I think it's terrible or anything, it's just because it's like... Alright, I hear it again. Which is good, because it means, even if there's nothing in here, I can go and beat her up afterwards. But a heal is really what I need here. Oh, healing syringe and ammo. Oh my god. Why did, I, why did I heal myself? Fuck me, I didn't mean to do that. Well, at least I'm at full health, I guess. Over the ridge, I think. <laughs> Can't see her. Which I don't like. Not. Oh my god, that went actually really well. Reload your fuck. Just get on her ass. I knew a screamer was gonna come. Could have been a lot worse there. That exchange could have been like the death of me, easy. Stamina is really annoying. Where did she go? There. Oh, hey! I got her again. Oh, wow. She hit me, but not as badly as it could have done. I need to get on her ass. But I don't know where she went. Looks like if you shoot her while she runs away, it baits her into coming back? Might have already been in this track. I think this was the one we went in earlier, but... but... I think we were in here a minute ago, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, do they respawn? Uh, what am I? Would have preferred to heal at this point, but... I can't hear where she is over my character's panting.
I hear her. Could still easily die. Where is she? There she is. No, that's water. That headshot was brutal. God damn it. Doesn't matter. She's so close to death. A headshot or two and I've got it. So you can headshot her as well. She went up the fucking mountain. Did you see it? She's like halfway up the fucking hill. I might actually be able to hit her from here. So close. We're nearly done. We're nearly done. I see her. Got her! Kill the Banshee on any difficulty. Hell yeah, we did it! The Banshee was killed, but did you change your fate? Don't care. Don't care. That took me 43 minutes. Thanks for playing my game. Thank you, Gabriel. I quite like this. It's a simple concept, but it works pretty well. Uh, more things like this, like multiplayer things like this, are definitely something I would like to see. But I thought this was pretty decent. I like the little sprinkling of lore as well. I, I liked it. That was Banshee Hunt. Good little game. Enjoyed. Let's move on. Bungie, thank you very much for extending the stream. Anyway, this is Fancy Land. Fancy! Fancy Land. I don't know anything about it. It contains disturbing themes, apparently. Flashing visuals and jump scares. Player discretion is Almost advised. 12 years ago, my dad, Gordon Wright, took a job as a security guard at a place called Fancy Land. A now Fancy. abandoned indoor amusement park that was shrouded in controversy when it was open. My dad never came home after one of his shifts there, and I haven't heard from him since. My name is Jackson Wright, and I'm heading there to find out what happened. Fancy. I better grab my keys before I head off. Interesting viewpoint. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. These are keys. Oh, I hope they are. I found the keys. Maybe I'll actually try and finish these songs when I get back. We're a composer? Oh, we have stamina. Shit. I exhausted the stamina. Why do we have stamina in our fucking apartment? Okay? It's pretty big. But Jesus Christ. There's no need for us to have stamina in our apartment. My stamina rants continue. Anyway. Fancy. Let's go. Let's go and we're into an abandoned the theme park. Not be one of my better ideas. The voice acting is pretty good so far. I quite like it. Look at all the fucking shit stains on the floor. Fancy. All right, here we go. The lights are still broken down here. Health and safety would probably have fucking something to say about this, okay? Which one's my car? Do I have a car? Am I just walking through the car park? These are life's great mysteries that I'll never know. Why are there massive cracks in the floor?
I've heard good things about this game, by the way. Apparently it's pretty good. Keep out. What's this? Private property. The attraction is now closed. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Well, that's tough shit, because we're going in. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Gonna go on all the rides. I'm sure they're completely safe after being abandoned for such a long time. What could go wrong? There's an upcoming game called Crow Country that looks quite a lot like this, actually. Such a shame this place is closing. Thanks for all the memories. Who wrote this down then just left it on a fucking table here? That's weird. I thought this was a bear trap. It is not. It is graffiti of some description. Can we take a picture? No. Alright, anyway. What do you think is going to be happening here? Ghosts? Silent Hill-esque memories of our father or some shit? I don't fucking know yet. It's probably going to be amazing, though. I think I can kick this out of the way. Huh. Huh. Oh, okay, I was <laughs> I thought it was automatic. It's actually got physics. All right. There's still some stuff left in here. I guess it's not worth much nowadays. Okay, where do we come in here? Aha. Uh -huh. A key. Right, well, it's not for that door. Fun, excitement, and sugary goodness awaits you this way. Sugary goodness? Hell fucking yeah. That sounded bad, by the way. Hang on, what are they? Fancy tokens that have been left behind. I remember you could buy stuff in the park with these. Four of five fancy tokens. I don't know what the key's for, but I don't genuinely don't know. I didn't think I saw anything else that was, like, key accessible down here. I'm just going to check. You know what this game really needs? A flashlight mechanic. It would be so much more fun if I couldn't see. God, the decor here is shit. So it's like candy based? The stairs have collapsed. Guess I'm out of luck. That scared was the that shit out of me. Elevator? It was the elevator. And that, that did not sound good. <gasps> A man? Dun dun dun! Manager and founder, uh, Richard Richard Burnley. Wow. A man in my video game? I don't fucking think so, chat. Okay. I don't fucking think so. Floor one. I can't believe I actually made it up. Here. Sugar Water Shores. Oh, so that's how many collectibles are in the area. Look. Okay. So it tells you. We have a rat problem again. Mr. Burnley won't be happy. Should I report to management? I want to know why everyone's writing in massive font, covering the entire A4 paper in, like, three words. It's a bit weird. Hmm. Can we do something with this? I can't- there's nothing to interact with here. Oh, there's a fucking door here. Jesus, didn't even see that. Alright. This is why I need new glasses, chat, okay? This is why I need you to help me with my glasses, or at least help me repair them. That's why we need to hit that goal, because otherwise I'm going to just be even more blind than usual. I'm already, I'm already utterly incompetent when it comes to being able to see anything in a video game. But now, even more so, okay? This is a beach, what the fuck? An artificial beach. I don't really know what I'm looking for, I'm just walking around a bit at the moment. So far, no threats, right? It's just been, like, uh, pretty chill. I don't even know if the game has threats or anything like that. Hello? A little rat! Look at it! Where did it go? A little numkin. I wouldn't be saying that when it's mutated and tries to eat my face later on, but, you know. The emergency valve to drain the water is missing. Where do we need to drain water again? Okay, so we need to find an emergency valve. Valve puzzles are getting up there, guys, with fuel puzzles. They're very, like, closely related, you know? 
Can we push this out of the way? No. Another. <gasps> oh no! I know this guy, Stephen Gard. He's a movie director. It says on the back he was a top contributor to this place. What? Interesting. Interesting chat. Fantastic chat. Let's keep looking. Can I kick all these? Okay. I thought maybe like there could be a secret under them or something. Whoa. I didn't mean to do that. At the moment, I feel like we're genuinely just exploring an abandoned theme park and nothing's out of the ordinary. I can hear strange sounds coming from the walls. I hope we're not being watched in here. It's probably nothing. It's probably just the wall, man. Probably just the wall, man. Oh, okay, there's an item here and another... No, it's not a picture, it's a drain. I've got another key. Excellent. Never really did find out what the first key was for that I found, I'm going to be honest with you. We just found keys. Can somebody put a call out for Olivia Murphy? She's a guest here and her family can't find her. She's probably dead. Or her family are probably dead, sorry. Alright, the stairs are still fucked. Might need to kick that along to solve a puzzle or something at some point, but for now let's just keep going. All right, what do we have down here? More, wow, we've only got all the things on this floor. Is the rat showing us where to go? Claw? Oh, that increases your, oh, that, put, that, that helps your stamina. Interesting, so it stops your stamina from draining if you use the claw machine to get the, uh, I guess it's like his energy drink, right? All right, we got 30. Excellent. I was like, why are they vibrating? They're in water. Nowhere near as exciting as I thought. Here's the valve we need. This symbol's here again. Someone's been doodling. Can anyone else hear the crying? Is something stuck on a ride or something? I couldn't find anyone. Probably nothing. Everything's probably fine. All right, let's go. It was up north, I think. The place that needs the valve. I guess it's gonna drain the water on the artificial beach so we can find a tunnel. Oh, what the fuck was that? It was a little ding. A little ding, ding, ding. So far, I'm enjoying this. drained the water and I took the valve back, so I guess we need it for something else. Okay, so the soda machine doesn't last forever and it costs a coin to use, which is probably not too good. Oh! What are these weird symbols? I'll make a note of them. I wonder if I could check out the other floors. Will the elevator take me to another floor now? Sounds plausible, right? I should probably check the other bit of water quickly in case that's drained too and there's something there. But other than that, I think we'll head back to the elevator because... Hello? There's little... The game's doing little noises now. Just like little ones. Like... Uh, like the... What's that? Okay, this hasn't drained. Like little fucking tiny baby noises just in the corner of my ears. Also, this guy has excellent fashion. I, I, I wear hoodies in public a lot, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I like hoodies. I never used to, but since I lost weight, I like hoodies. 
I used to find them too confining, but now it's like, hell yeah. Hell, hell fucking yeah. All right, that's that floor done. Jelly full jungle. No backing out now, I guess. This is the same fucking thing. Also, what would you have done here? Just played in the water? This is like the crappiest theme park I've ever seen. I heard breathing behind me. More and more people are being reported as missing. All of them from a guest here. All of them are guest here at some point. Excellent. Well, I'm sure everything's fine. Oh, my favorite character, Crocodile the Crocodile. Oh, it's locked. There must be a way to open it. This game's got very simple assets, but I feel like it works pretty well. Oh, it's got a good atmosphere. What would- why would you buy a gift? There's nothing here except shit fake palm trees and... Mazipanzi? Okay. Mo oh, okay, there was a large tall man there, did you see that? Walked out of shot to the right. Things are getting a little spicier. Taffy Tower. Oh, it's one of those drop rides. Let's leave, I don't want to be here. It's one of those, uh, like, uh... They launch you up and you like free fall back down. Rides. Just realized this man has no face. Hmm. I played a game about a man with no face earlier today, actually. Off stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh at this these pictures. Nick Morris. A controversial politician. It says he was also a contributor. Did that unlock that door? I'm gonna guess it did. Wow, the kids could have fun for minutes here. Locked in these playpens. What the fuck? We found a red key card. Come to Fancyland, where the fun never starts. I'm guessing I just unlocked the door next to me. The yellow one. Oh, I wonder if I have to push a box onto it. Like, kick a box, if I can find one. It's probably the case, right? <laughs> God, it's really fucking cold in this room today. A jelly? That's why it's called the Jelly Jungle! Oh, okay, this is what we- oh, we need to- Oh. Let's see if I can just get it- kick it off this and make it go on the switch. Kicking a giant jelly was not on my list of things of things I expected to do today in a video game, but here we are. Jelly Welly. That didn't work, did it? Oh, there's absolutely nothing. So maybe they need to go on these corner bits in the middle? I don't fucking know. I don't think they're gonna fit on them. Look, they're gonna be off base, look. Fuck this jelly! Alright, let's just keep going this way for now. This place is big. Hello? So people going missing in a theme park, not being shut down. Usual bollocks, I'm gonna guess. I think I've did I even be oh, over here? It's locked. There must be a way to open it. It's probably with a key. There's these things called keys. Shocking, I know. We've been up here already, and there's a locked door we can open now with a key card, I think. There's these things called keys anyway, right? And sometimes, sometimes you can open them. I want to hear what the noise the crocodile makes, because... There we go. 
Chomp chomp. Delicious. This doesn't look good. Is this just a ball pit? Oh, I can zip line across the ball pit. Do I want to zip line oh, across I bet the? The zip line was a lot of fun. Do it. Apparently, I can't zip line. All right, we have a key. God, I wish we didn't have stamina in this. It's so fucking annoying. Like. I understand we're probably going to have to run away from something at some point, right? And that's why we need the stamina to add, like, intensity. But at the moment, we're just walking around. So there's no need for stamina. Get your immersion out of my fucking video games. That's what I've got to say. I think I went past the door, didn't I? I did. Fuck me. Oh, did I? Everything looks the same! We haven't been down here yet. I can tell because of the tokens. Not my genius map making skills. I did go past the door, by the way, but we'll check down here anyway. I can't press this, even though it's interactable. We have Gummy Bear, who sounds like he's having a great time. Gummy Bear is my favorite of all the mascots of uh, Fancy Land. Who's your favorite Fantasyland mascot chat? Let me know in Twitch chat or in the comment section of this video. Employees are saying something is here after hours. I couldn't see anything on the cameras. Well, that means there must be no one here, right? I'm not gonna spend my money on uh, the claw machines until there's an actual threat. I've got probably gotta push all the jellies right back to the middle. I heard this place is bleeding money. The employees here look exhausted. It's better than just bleeding. I'll go in here first. Wow, the fun, the fun never- These are just the same room! The same shit fucking kids climbing frames and stuff. Alright, what noise does Toucandy, the Toucan Toucan make? That is not the noise, that, okay, that's not right. This, as this one is yellow, maybe we need to put the yellow one on the yellow button. Shocking, I know, that this could be the possibility, but we'll figure it out. Just kick the yellow jelly. Oh, I haven't been have I, I haven't been up here. As a expert on all toucans, I can definitely say without a doubt that toucans sound like ah! like that instead of the noise that that one made. My that was perfect, by the way. That was pitch perfect toucan sounds, okay? Okay, it had to be the yellow one on the yellow switch. I don't even know why. This is th not the red one. The red one is wrong. Oh, these have changed color. Look, now I have to put the other ones on the right color switches. Oh my god. I didn't mean to kick it at an angle. See, I could tell these apart. Kind of. I'm not even sure that's right, actually, but still. Uh, anyway, there was a door back this way. Jelly fans! Wow. Iconic. Paparazzi completely blocked the main entrance today. A famous actor making an appearance. Customers couldn't get in for hours. Eh. Probably shouldn't have uh, asked him to come then, right? Unless he just showed up. In which case, I'll forgive you. I'll let it slide this one time. Please let me have stamina. I am so tired of waiting to move. It triggers my ADHD so much, not being able to run all the time in video games. It drives me actually nuts. I hate it. Doesn't mean the game's bad. Just means I hate fucking stamina, okay? Right, I can unlock this now. There's the last coin. Oh, this might be important, look. Do you think I have to kick the jelly in that order? So bottom right, top left, top right, bottom left. I probably do, right? Remember, reminder for employees from Richard Burnley, please don't discuss recent occurrences with customers. Excellent. Yeah, I think I had to kick. So bottom right, top left, bottom, okay, so down. Uh, uh, 
we should be able to collect candy to increase our stamina because we all know candy is the healthy thing that gets everyone through the day. And everyone should eat more candy. For every meal. Because we're in fancy land. Fancy. Alright, so let's put it down in the bottom right first. I'm not too optimistic this is right, I'm going to be honest with you, but we'll try it. It made a noise, right, then, that one? I think? Like a click? Yeah, that, they're making noises now. Which they weren't before. Stop kicking it the wrong way, you fuck! I hope this works. Otherwise I might lose my shit. That worked! What did it do? Oh, no, no I thought this- Oh, yes! This! Oh my god, it was right by the fucking thing the whole time! I just walked around for 20 minutes! Looks like these symbols are on every floor. I better head back to the elevator. All I had to do was look at this briefly! That's all I had to do, and I could have left. It was inches. Inches! From where I was. Inches! I'm gonna be honest, chat, this is all your fault. If you didn't distract me with your feminine wiles all the time, then I'd pay a lot more attention. I also can't see, remember, you know. Gotta get those glasses fixed. Alright, that's that floor finished. Alright, what do we think next? Jam jungle? Honey drops hideout. Something really had the employees spooked. Even I'm starting to see things in the dark. Okay. Did you hear? Three more women have disappeared after visiting this place. Sounds like a really healthy working environment here, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, what's in here? Wow. The long days just fly by for the kids when they're here, don't they? Jesus Christ, look how shit this place is! Although I will say it's in surprisingly good condition. Like all the prams and the prams. <laughs> the prams. Swings is the word I was looking for there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Pram swings. Potato, potato. Oh, this is a puzzle. Oh, shit. So we got to change this to the right thing. We don't know what it is yet. So there's two symbols we need to go in this room. I don't know if they're hidden in this room, or we need to find them somewhere else and then come back here. Can't play Hopscotch, the greatest game ever made. That door isn't real for some reason. Even though it's the most interesting looking door we've seen for a while. Hello! Bumpkins! Oh my god, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go! Oh, I can't play it. I can't ride it. I can't ride the, uh... I can't ride the plane, although my brain's like, Rides the shoe puff? Every single one of these rooms has one of these, it looks like. And we can't use this staff door either this time. So there's a puzzle in every room. That we need to figure out. Personally, I got $10 for a burger, is that good? That sounds about par the course, probably, right now. Like, with inflation and shit. Sonic inflation. I 
All right, so we got a moon symbol here that's pink. That's probably important for something. Pink moon. That sounds a bit rude. Show us your pink moon. No, I don't think I'll, I think I'll, I think I'll bother actually. We've got still a two of those. So every one of these rooms, night staff have all quit. Day staff is having to pick up the slack. Another picture of a man. Another picture of a man. Holy shit. Wayne Carter, an actor and contributor. Do you think these are all like Kickstarter backers or some shit? So the moon, the pink moon is here, but we don't know which room is the pink moon room. So that's not particularly helpful, really. I'm gonna be honest. I can't wait to do another 10 laps of this place trying to solve this puzzle. It's gonna be amazing. Gift shop is closed. That thing's on the wall everywhere. Oh, I guess maybe the, the room with the pink door needs the pink moon? Maybe? Twirlwind? Wow, nothing but the most white knuckle of rides here, guys. A crazy, non stop exciting roller coaster of death awaits you around every turn on the Twirlwind. And another picture of a man. Everyone brace. Oh, it's a woman! Ah! My expectations were shattered. A singer. Also a contributor. These are definitely Kickstarter back, as I'm gonna say. My expectations were shattered into a million pieces there. That's how you that's how you subvert, guys. That's how you blow people's minds. Okay, we're back at the elevator. I think we just did a full lap. So what's in the middle? Woman in my game, yeah. Can't believe this woke shit. Oh, is this- this must be the character, right? The hive mind, yeah. Honey's hive, or whatever the fuck this was called. Yeah, I think I don't want to ever want to come to this theme park again, I'm gonna be honest with you. Just on the basis of that exchange. I think I just saw it. Honey Drop is definitely a gay icon. There's no doubt. Alright, we need to figure out what to do with all these rooms, and I don't really know. Because I haven't really seen anything worthwhile. Like, like anything. That, I haven't seen any clues. Like. Like, we saw the pink moon, but what does that even mean? I want to just check something. We're going to the burger room again. This is the burger bar, right? How many different colors are there? Blue. Oh, is it? Oh. So is this is this is the red door? Do we make these just red? Is that it? That seems really stupid if it's the case. But it's the only thing I can think of doing at the moment because I don't see any other clues. So uh What if the twist is honey drop is our mother? Hmm? 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 Now that would be really really fucking horrifying. That would be like pure horror. And she's like Come to mommy! And that voice. Like, in the Yuka voice from Corpse Party. What colour? No, it can't be though, because it's always yellow and there's not a yellow symbol! So we can't fucking- This can't be right! So what the fuck is the fucking solution to this shit?! There's nothing else here to tell me! There is nothing else- There's nothing! Nothing! I'm angry now, there's nothing! One fucking moon is not a puzzle solution! Jesus Christ. Okay. There's got to be something I'm missing. But I don't know what the fuck it is. And I'm tired of walking around really slowly. Alright, there's got to be... There's got to be more clues. But I have no idea what. Because we've only seen one other symbol outside those rooms. There's a big delicious hot dog. Big, delicious, throbbing hot dog over there. Haven't been in here yet. 
Oh, here we go. We found the solution. Accidents are happening more often. Management won't talk. Mr. Burnley is too busy trying to hang out with the elites. Something isn't right here. All right, so it's star, star, moon, star, triangle, square. I've got to take a picture of this. There's no fucking way I'm remembering it. <sighs> Give me a second. Alright. Star, star, moon star. Thank you, Inky. That was actually better than I had planned. What is that noise? What was that? I think there's an enemy now. Whoa! Oh, shit! I died. Thought I could get through the door. I couldn't. Hey, at least we know the puzzle now, right? That was a big boy, by the way. Big boy. All right, star, star, for the top, right, top one. It'd be better if we didn't have like the stamina of like, I don't know, a five-year-old. That would make life a lot easier. Gotta be honest. Gotta take it carefully now. As I say, as I immediately start sprinting, because I can't handle not sprinting. Star star, this is moon star. Moon star. What were the bottom ones? I hope someone remembers, because I don't. This is where it got me. I heard it's Pete's. Yeah, I hear it. It's to the right. Moon triangle for the bottom right. So moon triangle. And then triangle square on the left. I wonder Ooh. Ooh. the ground shook. It's a grumpy boy. Very attractive though, right? I'm sure most of you would smash. Right, and that should open in the central area by the roller coaster the code we need to leave this floor. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, if I'd seen that thing, I would have left already, but this guy's an idiot. Fancyland, once you've been here, you can never leave. <laughs> here we go. Six symbols. Maybe the elevator's open now and I can get off this floor. Hope we don't have to remember the symbols, because I have not been remembering. All right, that's that floor complete. Next up, we have Marshmallow. Ma oh this God! Floor. Only a few more floors left. Well, we got a puzzle yeah, here. Losing my mind. <laughs> we need to find the shapes and put them in the holes. Just like a nice, fun, wholesome puzzle for the whole family. It's a maze. Someone said there was going to be a maze. You were right. Fuck you. Because <laughs> it's going to be in the maze. I'm guessing running around. We got a keyboard here. I don't know if it's two kids and their teacher have separated from a school group. Can all employees please be on the lookout? Thanks. Oh my god, you guys. I'm not gonna play it all. Saints go march again! The only song I know how to play. Hell yeah! We did it. We did it. We made it, chat. Now this is one. Of, this is up there. It was one of my greatest playthroughs. I'm guessing the shapes are all in the middle. 
Oh shit, it's an actual maze, god damn it. Alright, well if we go. The marshmallow maze is an actual maze. I know I'm, I shouldn't be that shocked by that, but I heard the thing. I think I'm going to die a lot here. I've got a feeling. Most important thing is finding all the collectibles, obviously. Nothing else really matters that much. Got to keep my 1% completion rate on Steam, you know. Sweet sale. What the f- Oh, it's a pirate ship, right? The media is starting to report on the disappearances. Looks like they're trying to cover things up. Like, the media is trying to cover things up? Or the park? I'm going to guess the park. But you never know. Shape? Give me a shape. Oh, circle, triangle, circle, square, square? But I couldn't do anything. Just a man. The man, get the, uh, he's not important enough to get a note. So this is probably important, circle, square, square, but I don't know what, f oh god, I don't know what for. I just fat fingered the flashlight off. That means we were probably meant to write down the code from the middle rather than plug it in. I just realized. So, we need to go back to the beginning and get the code from there again, because I don't know what it said. So that was a code rather than somewhere we slot in things, unfortunately for me. <laughs> somewhere we slot in things. God, I'm so immature. Holy shit. I was like, somewhere we slot in things? Tee hee 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 hee. I'm so funny. We're going the wrong way at the moment, but we haven't been down here anyway, so that's fine. Sugar Rush. Wow. A small roller coaster for the kids. The carts are missing. I would say most things here are for the kids. In fact, I would say that no adult would have had a good day out here. Another key? For something we... We saw... Oh, no. Oh! I mean, this is definitely where you put the code in, but I wonder if it opens different doors? Doing this? Oh, I did something. We probably have to put all the different codes into this room, I'm gonna guess. My main beef with this game is just the fact that it's really slow. Not my beef. It's like I'm sounding like I'm like fucking. I'm get my main beef with this game is it's just a bit slow. So a really popular thing that's done in the area of the world that I live, right, is for farmers to capitalize on needing uh, on the, the tourism industry for the area. And they open, they, they turn their farms into these like shit fucking amusement parks. Like, with the bare basic facilities and the most simplest fucking um, basic shit, essentially. Right? And, um, they like tend to like uh, be pretty. I'm gonna go and get the code from the entrance. They tend to be pretty fucking awful. Right, they tend to be like pretty fucking garbage. Um, some really, really interesting ones. Triangle, square, circle, by the way, is another code, so let's go and do that, I guess. Triangle, square, circle. I don't think there was one in the top room. If there was, I missed it. God, I have this fucking maze. By oh, the way, the marshmallow maze, by the way, is just a called a marshmallow maze because somebody happened to draw shitloads of marshmallows on the floor. That's the sort of thing you'd get, actually, in one of these, like, farm theme parks. There's, like, one called, like, The Big Sheep, where there's just fucking loads of sheep and kids' play area stuff amongst the sheep. What the fuck was the code? I've already forgotten it because I was talking too much. Triangle, square, circle? I think. I think.
Maybe it isn't for this room. Maybe it's for a different room? I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's not working. I'm gonna go out gamble and say it's not for this. It's just something else, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, like they're all shit. That's a different code circle square scratcher. We already put that one in. We already solved that puzzle. Alright. I guess that's nothing. We got other places to look, so let's go and look. Alright. But yeah, so when I was a kid, I went to this one of these converted theme parks, right? And it, it, still, it doesn't exist anymore. It was called Kalani Springs, okay? And it was like the shittest- Oh god! It was the shittest fucking place, maybe, that I've ever been. Like, the boating lake looked like if you fell out the boat, you'd never- you, you're, you were fucked. You were dead. You were dead. Like, absolutely fucking no chance of survival. You could not see the bottom. If a child was out that boat, you were fucked. Right? It's one of my most vivid memories. And everything else there was just- Oh, we do- It is for slotting things in! It is for filling holes. We found the circle and the triangle. We just need the square. The place isn't what it seems. The truth will come out eventually. It's all a facade. It's all a facade. It's all a facade. We- I just looked at that note. I was like, what? I was like, oh, it's probably a reference to something else. But you're right. This is definitely it. And here's the last shape. We go and put that in, then we're gonna have to get to the other side of the maze without dying to the monster, I'm gonna guess. I'm guessing the monster will show up once we put these whole things in the holes, and then we have to get through the maze without getting killed, which is gonna suck. There we go. All right, and that should have opened the thing on the far side of the maze. I'm walking very slowly. I say as I start running immediately. God damn it! Stupid fucking dead ends think they're so fucking good. I ever told you, I fucking hate mazes, guys. I think that's it might be an ADHD thing, but I hate them. Like... T t they make me feel similar to, like, looking at numbers. Like, I just hate them. Like, they're not as bad, but, oof. Like a skin crawly type feeling I get from them. Alright. Let's, let's grab a soda. Oh, we can only use it once? There's only one soda left? I wasted it. goes so much farther than just rumors. How did this all get covered up? I really hope we don't need to remember these fucking symbols, by the way. Because if we do, we are boned. Monster hasn't really done a lot, actually. It's been pretty chill. Alright, that's that floor done. Next one. Rocky Road Racetrack. Mr. Burnley is nowhere to be found. What the hell is going on with this place? I'm guessing Mr. Burnley is the monster, or your dad is the monster, or something. I feel like that makes sense, right? I have never been to a corn maze. But I probably wouldn't go, I'm gonna be honest. One of eight car parts. Why is there a burger bar on every floor? I feel like... This is like the fattest theme park ever. It's themed around candy and there's burger bars on multiple floors. A multi-story burger bar.
the monster is on this floor. Okay, that door is off limits. I don't think I can kick it. Can you kick it? Yes, we can! Alright, three out of eight car parts for a car we haven't found yet. Gonna save the drinks machine for now. Oh, this room's great. Wall to wall, non stop fun in there. God, it's so fucking cold right now. Hang on, why are there flags? Oh, because the whole floor is like race themed, right? Like, racer themed, I mean. The good news is, I know there's playthroughs of this, so if we do need the symbols at the end that we haven't been reading, um, we'll uh, we'll be able to look it up. Unless they're RNG, in which case we're fucked. Do a full lap around the outside. Every floor has the same layout. I will say, like, the layout of the place is pretty monotonous. I wonder what we're actually trying- I'm guessing what we need to fix is in the middle. Right, that would make sense. The game has been very simple so far. Look, I quite like it. Like, it's not, it's not amazing, but it's fine. Right, it's, it's all right. Two left. What is the mystery of fancy land? Oh, it's bumper cars. Bumper cars are like pretty dangerous, really, now I think about it. As an adult. The bad press, the disappearances, the celebrity drama, the financial losses, I think it's all about to collapse. Like, if you have a bad back, bumper cars are gonna fuck you up. Like, I mean, let's say you don't have a bad back, but you could easily get a bad back from going on bumper cars. All it takes is somebody overzealously bumping into you, and you're fucked. You're dead. You're literally dead, chat. Okay. That's how it works. I need one more car part. Wow. I could, I feel, that's one of the. That's one of the most biggest re realizations. Well, I'm dead, guys. <laughs> that's right. That's what I fucking thought. Can't use doors, dickhead! He's still around. Yeah, it's, it's going back that way. I mean, if I die, there's actually not really any consequences as far as we can tell. You just spawn back at the entrance. With everything you still got, got from what our experiences. Yeah, get fucked again. Oh, the last part. Excellent. Burnley was already acting shifty when the rumor started to come out. Bailed when he knew the part was going under. Arsehole. Shh. He doesn't know we're here. I need those coins. Ah! <laughs> I got greedy. <laughs> I thought he just despawned. But instead, I got touched inappropriately. He's down here again, but I want the coins. Yeah! 30 and 30! Get fucked! Get fucked! Right, now we need to take the car parts to the middle. <laughs> I do like the, uh, the death screen. It's pretty cool. Monster design is fun. I like it. Alright, this is the car track. Where the fuck is the car? Can't I go in the store? I need to go in the store. 
I don't need to go in the store. I guess this is if we need to hide. Your health seems to in- your- Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> so anyway, I think we need to go back to that car again. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever go to a fairground again, I'm gonna be honest. Like... I hate the fact he seems to be hanging around where I need to go. I think I'm pretty close to the top now. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. We got it guys, we got the code. Things are getting a little bit more risky, that's for sure. <laughs> and we're done. Nearly at the top, he said. Good. Star Sweet Spacewalk. Never taken this job. This place is hell. Literal hell. It is good that your stamina pops back, by the way, when the enemy sees you. Oh god, we gotta kick things onto platforms again by the looks of things. Probably this onto that, I'm gonna guess. I hope so anyway, let's find out. I don't know if that's right or not. It did change colour, so that's a good sign, right? Oh, it's a hiding spot. That means oh, this floor's gonna get hot. spicy. There must be a way to open it. It's been a long time since I've been to a fair or a festival, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I was a bubba. Oh my god, it's my favourite it's Murphy, the marshmallow Martian. Hmm. What do I associate with fairground food in the UK? I guess like toffee apples, um, candy floss. Sorry, cotton candy. Um, things like that. That's what I'd associate with like British fairground food. Maybe like hot, maybe like really suspicious hot dogs. That are like 75% rat. That's what I'd associate fair food with. Oh, that scared the shit out of me, by the way. I went in there! Okay. I have no idea. I don't even know what a funnel cake is, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never heard of it before. No idea what a funnel cake is. I don't really like cake though, so uh could be a key thing there. It better not be down here by the way. Corn dogs we don't have here either. Not a thing. Oh, that sounds gross actually. You're not selling me on the funnel cake, guys. Alright, it's down that way, so let's go this way. I can hear it gurgling on its own cum. I mean, just gurgling. I don't know what churros are because of being in the States again, it's just not not common here at all. Like most British people wouldn't know what a churro was, I don't think. Oh great. Uh -huh. Can't seem to do anything with these, which is a bit weird. Because it feels like you should be able to.
Well, that was one of the most brief audio messages that anyone has recorded in human oh, history. Gonna need a fuse. All right, we need a fuse. Excellent. We need a key and a fuse now. I can hear it to the right at the moment, so let's keep going this way. I find most American food, like, too processed and too sweet for me, to be honest with you. Like, every time I go there, I get violently ill for a while. Like, too much artificial shit is the, my biggest beef. Hey, got all the coins! <laughs> I had no idea where I was going. Have we been in here? Well, apparently not, the but... It's now officially closed down. I'm the only one here. And I'm ashamed to admit it, but I'm too afraid to patrol. I pick an office and I just stay there. Okay, but yeah, the, where's the fuse? Where's the fucking fuse? It's not here. We haven't been up here to the right, I don't think. No, we definitely haven't because we need to kick the thing here. Okay, that did something somewhere. And I'm guessing it's more than just remove the fucking... Do you think that opened the door, maybe? I doubt it revealed the, co the code, right? Get in the hole. Get in the hole. I hear him. So either open the door near the entrance or reveal the code, one or the other, but I don't know which one. We're just going to wait here a minute. Because the ground's shaking. You're almost here. With much at stake, then the ground begins to quake. What time is it in the UK right now, someone? I need to keep an eye on that, because I've got to do Patreon shit later on. Oh, it's the fucking dead end. Are you fucking kidding? I'm going to run into him. Okay. This is a... Hang on, what did he... I was going to say, where the fuck did he come from? Alright, we know where he is, so that's good. He's coming back this way because the floor is pounding. Okay, it did not reveal the colours, which means it probably opened the door. And I'm going to guess the fuse is in here. I hope. Okay, yes, it opened that. All right, good. Hopefully the fuse is in here. Doesn't look like it. Excellent. The elevator did something weird today. It sent me to a floor underground. The door shut again before I could get a good look. Hmm. I'm guessing that's a clue. That said, oh, there is something here. What is this? Hey, it's the fuse. Okay. All right, we've made some progress now instead of just dying constantly. Excellent. Even if they, it gets us here, it doesn't matter too much. Fuses in. Okay, so now we need middle. So we have to do the puzzle in the middle, which is probably where it's standing right now. Middle, up, down, down. It's gonna be here. Surely, right? Middle. Are you fucking kidding me? It's coming, by the way. Because of course it is.
There's the code. We finished with this floor. I think that's all of them. So what do I do with them? I don't fucking know. Go in the elevator and go to the basement. We finished it. Let's keep going. We're nearly done. That was a bit bum, that floor, but we got through it. Hotel rooms. The top. I wonder if Richard Burnley's office is up here. Hope the monster isn't, I'm going to be honest with you. So we've got all the symbols, but we don't know what they're for yet. Well, this place is a roller coaster ride of fun. Oh, well, linear so far, at least. I managed to get down to that floor again. I can't believe what I saw. I'll call the police as soon as I... Hello? I'm gonna guess... What floor was he talking about? What did he see? I'm guessing there's some evil child making children into pie shit going on in the uh, basement. That's what I'm gonna go with. Only five tokens on this floor, what the fuck? Guessing we we might be nearly done on this floor already. This can't get out, Richard. Fix it. Oh, it's the symbols. Oh, I don't know what they are. Oh, they're here. Okay, I think. So cross. Okay. All right, that's right. Then menorah E. Yeah. Then. Other menorah triangle. Yep. Then... Key lightning bolt. Went past it. Yep. Then... Six question mark. And then finally, whatever this one does, there you go. I'm guessing the elevator will now take us to the secret sex basement. I'm intrigued to see what the actual story of is here. Definitely intrigued. All right, final place. I'm gonna guess. Floor. Blah, 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 blah. What the hell is all this? Oh, these look like prison cells. What a surprise! This is pretty sussy wussy, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is Richard Burnley. It's August 8th, and this will be the last anyone hears from me. I am the founder and head manager for Fancyland. It was always a dream of mine to open an amusement park, and I made it come true. When the park was finished, though, we realized we'd gone way over budget. Sure, we broke even in that first year, but it started to get pretty bad pretty quickly. Okay. So they were hemorrhaging money and they decided to rent it out to Satan. During one of the many celebrity appearances, I won't say who. Oh god, this is this could be really bad, guys. Like, genuinely awful. Is this going to be like Hostel? I've got a feeling this is going to be like Hostel, guys. It definitely is going to be like Hostel. You see, this whole building was constructed on top of old tunnels. Tunnels we were using for storage. Tunnels nobody knew about. I told them, if you financially contribute to this park, you could use these tunnels. Yeah. And it worked. I wasn't going to let this place go to waste. You find out quickly there is a lot of twisted people in position of power. 
So he rented out these for them to like murder and probably do really other unpleasant things in exchange for money. And that also goes for one Mr. Wright, who was hired to make sure that nobody got in and started snooping around. But then he decided to do it himself and well I I dealt with him. I will say that doesn't explain the six foot tall woman question mark that's been devouring us repeatedly for the last fucking hour and a half. Doesn't really explain that very well at all yet. If everybody had just stayed quiet, stayed in their lane, we wouldn't be in this mess. And now I'm being investigated. Okay. Oh, and that thing? That thing everybody said they saw? Oh. You know what that is? It's a manifestation of anger, regret, hate, suffering from all the people that were down here. I know it's coming after me, and there's nothing left of me now. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a fucking river, money. dickhead. I'm out of options. I guess everybody gets what they deserve. Shit. Yes, there's no stamina, so this is probably the final chase, guys. <laughs> and the elevator just doesn't come, it's like smacking the like fucking hell! I need to get out of here! Oh shit, we haven't got any stamina left. I got in through a hole in the bottom left, right? There was like a hole in the wall, I wanna say. Where's the hole in the wall? Where's the fucking hole in the wall? I got in through a hole in the wall. Fuck it, we just got the main entrance now. The hole in the wall was down here. This is where the hole in the wall was. In the car park. I made it out. It's gonna be in our house. Tell the world everything about that place, just like Dad would have done. Maybe law enforcement will actually do something this time, and justice will be served. It's gonna be in the parking lot, waiting for us, or in our apartment, waiting for us, or in our bed, waiting for us. No, no, oh no, shit, no. we're back in fancy land! It's so fancy! Hi. That's the end. Oh no, Bubble Bubbles couldn't save us. I thought this was pretty good. Like, it's some, there was some frustrating bits, but uh, it wasn't bad. Seen a lot worse. Oh, we got all the collectibles, guys. Guess I'm a fucking genius. I thought this was decent. Like, it's a lot worse. We play a lot worse. It was fine. I wouldn't say it's groundbreaking, but, you know. Alright, third game in this video. This is Passerby. My name is Nathan. I'm a loner, wandering through a desolate and shattered world. For me, it was always a dark, unforgiving wasteland. The difference is that now it's overrun by infected monsters. Nobody knows exactly what happened. After the fallout, people started forming factions, different groups to survive. I always felt like an outsider, and then I became a passerby. I don't know my fate hangs in the balance, and it could be severed at any moment by the horrors that lurk in the darkness. Lovely! This is a free game. From Ichio. Get another deserted town. Hope I can find something useful around here. Okay. I like the aesthetic. Appropriately miserable. Can we? Are we meant to go in here? I mean, I went in here anyway. I'm not a big fan of, like, a lot of post-apocalyptic things. I find them just a bit bland. Like, this is probably a hot take, but I don't think Fallout's very... Amazing, like it's alright, but like I don't like it that much. Especially Fallout 3. I think Fallout 3 is like D tier. Um, New Vegas is the best one. 
The keys on the shelf open the locked door of the building by the road. Stay inside, wait for the night to pass, and then do whatever you want. Do not go outside at night. If you're reading this, it means I've already gone, but you still have a chance to survive. Good luck. Alright, some keys. That's very nice. Very friendly of them to leave some keys just knocking around for us. The locked building by the road. I'm not entirely sure what building they meant. There's quite a lot of things that would qualify to me as a locked building by a road, I'm going to be honest with you. Could be the police station. Nope. Did it, serve a, did it give a better instruction? Let me read that one more time. Locked door of the building by the road. Yeah, that doesn't help, does it? Hmm. Well, I guess we can look around some more and hope for the best. Maybe look for a door that stands out. I mean, this definitely is something. Don't like the mist in here. A PC. Shame there's no power. Hmm, someone's been staying here already. Oh, look, a bed instead. I guess this is maybe where we need to be? Looks like cozy. I should look for supplies. Usually I find stuff in the trash. Okay. Search the trash bins. Let's read this note first, though. Amidst all the struggles, I refuse to give up on my dream. One day I stop hiding and scavenging for scraps, rationing supplies, and I'll move away from this cursed town. Open up a restaurant at the end of the world where people rejoice, have fun, and remember that not everything is lost. One day. Wishful thinking, but I guess it's kind of sweet. I don't think we can go up here. At least not yet. We need a weapon or something. Hi. We'll just pretend he isn't there. It's, it's fine. No big deal. NBD. N-B-D. He probably just slipped upwards and fell on the spike? Question mark? Alright, where is the garbage? I don't think this is it, but I've got generators and stuff here. Nah, this is not it. I thought this was like, I thought that might be like a recycling bin from the back, but it's not. We only got a small area to explore in, so it can't be that far to find some trash. Oh, here. These, 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 these. I guess not that one. If everyone's looking through the trash, though, for food, surely there's not going to be much left eventually. Oh, I see. Why does this shrink? It's weird. Not torn clothing and sc scarps, dented cooking pots can be used, I guess. I guess that's why I have to click on them a lot. There we go. We have to actually search. Holding down doesn't work, by the way, for those in the comments. Like, why aren't you just holding the button down? It doesn't work, okay? It doesn't work. All right? Wood scraps. I guess the time was empty before the fallout. Another one over there. At least I think it is. Oh, I didn't read this. The air is filled with a stench of decay. People are more aggressive than the infected creatures. There's nothing left of the town besides crumbling buildings and trash. I tried to care about the situation, but why bother? Every day I get closer and closer to ending it all. Maybe one day I can find the courage to do so. Well, a lovely note. Really uplifting, you know. I don't really know how this works, by the way. It just seems to shrink sometimes. Definitely doesn't hold down. I found a rubber tubing, empty food containers, and nothing else useful. Fuck. We're not having much luck here. I'm tired and it's getting dark. I should go to the shelter and sleep in the bed. Well. It's probably a good idea. It'd be good if you close this door. Thank you. I was going to say, can you close that door? If there's, like, hordes of killer zombies at night, I don't really want to be, like, you know, 
jumping around with them. Well, that doesn't sound good, does it? Someone's at the door. Who could it be at this time? I should be careful. Okay, we have a flashlight. Check the door. Well, I'm inclined to let whoever it is out there not in. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Looks like someone is hurt. I should be careful following the blood trail. Why are we following it? Who cares? Who cares? Please help. I was in the group and got lost. I had a walkie-talkie with me and dropped it into the police station. Please find it. Okay. This probably is not very safe. There is definitely something over there in the darkness. It, more than something. A shitload of things, in fact. Can I go around the back? They seem quite slow and ineffectual. I don't see it. This is the police station. These zombies have some have a lots of pretty fucking tight abs. Holy shit! Oh, I see it. That animation is very odd. I don't. I think they're designed not to get you, or be a threat. To be fair, I think this is more a story walking simulator type thing, which is fine. Bye. Yeah, they're like, go away. I'm just a little numkin. See, it's weird. All right, I've got the walkie-talkie. Let's head back. Is the real evil gonna be man? Chat. Man is the real evil. Right? Thank you for helping me and dragging me out here. It's very cozy and safe. Yeah, there's a dead guy on the wall. Yeah, no problem. I hope you didn't get infected. Looks like you lost a little blood. No, this is not mine. I actually met someone on the way here, and they were pretty aggressive. You know, we have to survive no matter what, and we got into a fight. They lost. Meanwhile, it got dark. Like I said, I'm with a group of people, and we share a certain ideology around here. Wait, why were they aggressive, and what happened to them? We had a disagreement about my offer. I did rush some things, because it was getting dark, and... I proposed them to join our group, and they refused, saying I was insane or some shit. Maybe they did not want to be part of the group and they were a passerby like me, but... What exactly did you tell them? People around here do not get aggressive for no solid reason. I personally find it hilarious, but my group likes to hunt. We gather supplies and mostly survive on meat. Meat? Where'd you get the meat at this time? We all know that the infected is spreading more and more. The air's polluted and there's no way... Wait, do you hunt infected monsters and eat them? No way you think we are savages? Not at all. We hunt for fresh meat every single day. I thought you would be smarter than this. Come on. We are cannibals. Listen, relax, okay, we already got our share for today, and I guess you're the lucky one. Get the fuck out, I have a gun in my bag, and I swear I'll shoot you. Whoa, whoa, relax, I'm not gonna hurt you. If you want, you can join my group. If not, I can leave. I will not join your mind-fucked group. Get the hell out, arsehole, I'm warning you. Alright, alright, I'm going. Sorry if I made things uncomfortable, alright? Just wanna stand up and leave. But I have to say that my group's already here, and I wish we had more time to discuss this. Oh, betrayed. Betrayed by the cannibals! Oh no! Who could have foreseen such a foreseeable foreseen? For a free little game, I liked it. Never make some decent little games, actually. I played a few of them. I like these little short, bite-sized things from Ichio for free. They're just—they're just fun. 
I, I like it. And this message at the end sweet. Well, no, I'm kidding. Oh, my God. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please consider pledging to the Patreon. It's what keeps this channel going. It allows me to bring you content regularly and hopefully entertaining stuff. I will see you guys soon for more spooky times and spooky japes. Um, make sure you hit that link in the description. Pledge even a dollar to help us unlock all our extra stuff in the month. And, uh, yeah. Even a buck helps out a lot. It really does. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. See you soon. Bye now.